Imagine a quiet city in southern China, Huan, tucked away in the hills of Guangdong province. Life moves slowly here, rivers glint in the sun, farmers tend their fields, and the city hums with the usual rhythm of everyday life. But suddenly, everything changes. Geologists uncover something that immediately grabs the attention of the entire world, the largest rubidium deposit ever found on Earth. The numbers are almost unbelievable. Estimates put the value of this single discovery at 80 trillion RMBB, or about 11 trillion US dollars, more than the GDP of Japan. To put it simply, this one find is bigger than decades of oil exports or even some of the richest gold mines in history. And here's the kicker. This isn't gold. It's not silver. It's not lithium, the metal everyone talks about when it comes to batteries and electric cars. This is rubidium, a mysterious, silvery metal that most people have never even heard of. Yet, despite its obscurity, it's essential for some of the most advanced technologies on the planet, from atomic clocks and GPS systems to space tech and high-precision military communications. For a quiet city like Juan, this is the start of a story that could reshape technology, economics, and global power. And it all begins with a metal few have imagined could hold such extraordinary value. So, what exactly is rubidium and why is the world suddenly paying attention? Rubidium is a soft, silvery white metal, part of the alkali metal family. Think of elements like lithium, sodium, and potassium. But unlike those more common metals, rubidium is extremely rare. You won't find it in your smartphone battery or sprinkled on your table like salt. Instead, it hides in certain minerals, such as mica and lepidolite, often mixed in tiny amounts with other elements. Despite being obscure, rubidium is strategically priceless. Its real power comes from its role in technologies where precision is everything. For instance, rubidium is a key ingredient in atomic clocks, the most accurate timekeeping devices on Earth. These clocks are so precise that they only drift by a billionth of a second. Without rubidium, GPS satellites couldn't pinpoint your location to your driveway. They'd be off by blocks. Rubidium also plays a critical role in space propulsion, medical imaging, military communication, and advanced sensors. Because of this, some scientists have started calling it the gold of the 21st century. Not for jewelry, not for currency, but for power, precision, and technological progress. This is why China's discovery isn't just a geological headline. It's a potential game-changer for global tech and strategic power, setting the stage for the deeper impact rubidium can have on the world. Rubidium may sound obscure, but its impact on modern life is enormous. Let's start with atomic clocks. These aren't the clocks on your wall. They're the ultimate timekeepers, used in GPS satellites, financial systems, and scientific research. Rubidium helps these clocks stay accurate to a nanosecond. That's one billionth of a second. Without this precision, GPS navigation would be unreliable. Planes could stray off course, and even stock markets could miscalculate trades. Then there's medical imaging. Rubidium is used in PET scans, helping doctors detect cancer and heart conditions with extreme accuracy. In space technology, rubidium powers ion thrusters, the engines that allow spacecraft to travel efficiently across the solar system. And in military and aerospace applications, rubidium-based systems are crucial for secure communication, navigation, and surveillance. Put simply, rubidium is part of the hidden backbone of modern civilization. It touches everything from your smartphone's GPS to satellites orbiting Earth and the very instruments that keep nations secure. Until now, most people had never heard of it. But as you'll see, controlling rubidium isn't just about mining a metal. It's about controlling the future of technology itself. Now that we know rubidium is incredibly useful, the next question is, why is it so rare? Unlike gold or copper, rubidium doesn't form in large, concentrated veins underground. Instead, it's what scientists call a dispersed element spread out in tiny amounts across different minerals. Imagine trying to collect sugar that's been dissolved in an entire swimming pool. 
That's what mining rubidium usually feels like. Even when it's found, extracting it isn't easy. Rubidium is highly reactive. It can explode if it touches water and oxidizes quickly in air. This means miners can't just scoop it out and store it like aluminum or iron. It requires careful chemical processing, vacuum containers, and inert gases to keep it stable. And here's the big problem. The global production of rubidium is tiny, only about 4 to 5 tons per year, while the world actually needs 15 to 20 tons. That's a supply gap of 3 to 4 times. In other words, even if countries wanted it, there simply isn't enough to go around. This is exactly why China's discovery of 180,000 tons of rubidium ore in Guangdong is such a game changer. For the first time, one country could dominate a metal that has been almost impossibly rare, giving it an unprecedented technological and strategic advantage. Let's zoom in on Huan, a city in Guangdong province. Before this discovery, it was known for rivers, farmland, and just a quiet inland life. Today, it's suddenly at the center of the world's attention. Why? Because geologists have uncovered a rubidium deposit so massive, it's unlike anything seen before. The numbers are staggering. The site contains around 180,000 tons of rubidium ore, with 12,000 tons ready for immediate extraction already more than double the world's current total supply. To give some perspective, most rubidium deposits are considered large if they hold just 2,000 tons. Juan's deposit is nearly 90 times that size. And rubidium isn't the only treasure. The site also contains gold, silver, selenium, tungsten, copper, lead, and zinc, a literal treasure chest of strategic metals. But here's what really sets this apart. It's the first known independent rubidium deposit in the world. That means rubidium is the main attraction, not just a byproduct of mining other metals. With this discovery, China instantly becomes the global leader in rubidium, controlling a resource that could shape technology, defense, and industrial strategy for decades. What was once scattered and rare is now concentrated and in one nation's hands. The economic impact of China's rubidium discovery is almost impossible to overstate. With an estimated value of 80 trillion RMB, or roughly 11 trillion US dollars, this single deposit is worth more than the entire GDP of Japan. To put it in perspective, it surpasses decades of oil exports from Saudi Arabia. This concentration gives China a level of economic leverage few countries have ever seen. Controlling the largest supply of a critical metal means they can influence pricing, availability, and the pace of technological development worldwide. Industries that rely on rubidium, aerospace, defense, GPS, medical imaging, and quantum tech could find themselves dependent on China for access. In short, this isn't just a mining win. It's a strategic asset that touches global markets, innovation, and national security. With this deposit, China isn't just sitting on a mountain of metal. They're sitting on a potential economic and technological empire, capable of shaping the future in ways few nations could imagine. China's rubidium discovery isn't just a financial windfall. It's a geopolitical game-changer. Countries like the United States, Europe, and Canada are suddenly facing a strategic challenge. One nation now controls a metal critical to technology, defense, and national security. Consider the United States. It produces virtually no domestic rubidium and relies heavily on imports from China. As of 2019, over 95% of American rubidium came from China. This isn't just a trade issue. It's a security vulnerability. Rubidium powers GPS satellites, military communications, ion propulsion systems, and even emerging technologies like quantum computing. Without secure access, nations risk falling behind in critical areas. The discovery essentially reshapes the global balance of power. China now has leverage not only over markets, but also over technologies that underpin modern economies and militaries.
What was once an obscure element is now a central piece in the geopolitical chessboard, and countries worldwide must rethink strategy, alliances, and technology planning in response. China's rubidium dominance has created a complex global dilemma. Nations now face a tough choice invest heavily to develop their own rubidium sources or remain dependent on China and risk being shut out of essential technologies. This situation is, well, reminiscent of historical resource battles. Think of oil in the Middle East, rare earth elements in the 2000s, or semiconductors today. In each case, controlling a critical resource gave countries the ability to influence global markets, technology, and even military strategy. Rubidium is now joining that list. The challenge isn't just mining, it's securing the entire supply chain, from extraction and processing to manufacturing high-tech applications. Without a stable, independent supply, countries could face production bottlenecks in GPS systems, medical imaging, aerospace technologies, and quantum computing. In short, rubidium isn't just a metal anymore. It's a strategic linchpin. Whoever controls it can influence innovation, industrial planning, and geopolitical leverage. And with China taking the lead, the rest of the world is racing to figure out how to respond before it's too late. Extracting rubidium is far from simple. Unlike copper or aluminum, rubidium is highly reactive. It can explode on contact with water and quickly oxidizes in air. It's also dispersed in tiny amounts within minerals like mica and lipidolite, making it difficult and costly to separate. Traditional mining methods just don't cut it. China, however, is turning this challenge into an opportunity. Engineers and scientists are developing new extraction processes that not only increase the yield of rubidium, but also reduce carbon emissions and toxic byproducts. These innovations make large-scale production safer, cleaner, and more efficient, really laying the groundwork for a sustainable industry. But mining is only the first step. The true power comes from turning raw rubidium into usable technology, whether for aerospace, defense, medical imaging, or quantum devices. China's investment in innovation ensures they aren't just digging up metal. They're building an industrial ecosystem capable of dominating this critical resource for decades to come. China isn't stopping at extraction. By 2025, the plan is to create a full-scale rubidium industry that covers every step from exploration and mining to refining, manufacturing, and high-tech applications. This means turning raw ore into materials that power aerospace engines, medical devices, military communications, and advanced sensors. Innovation doesn't end there. China is also exploring rubidium recycling, recovering it from used electronics and industrial waste. This strategy extends the life of the resource, reduces environmental impact, and minimizes dependence on new mining. In essence, China is transforming a rare metal into a strategic industrial empire. By controlling both the supply and the technology to process it, they are positioning themselves as the world's top supplier of a resource critical to the future of innovation and national security. This isn't just about a lucky discovery. It's a long-term vision to dominate a metal that could shape the global tech landscape for decades. Rubidium isn't just a metal. It's a key that unlocks the future of technology. Whoever controls it can dictate the pace of innovation in industries that touch every part of modern life. From GPS and space communications to quantum computing and AI systems, rubidium is essential for precision and performance. This, honestly, sets the stage for a global tech race. Countries may choose to cooperate with China, securing access through trade agreements, or attempt to develop independent sources, both options requiring massive investment and innovation. History shows us that control over critical resources often sparks competition and strategic tension, as seen with oil, rare earths, and semiconductors. The stakes are enormous. National security, navigation systems, medical technology, and cutting-edge research all depend on rubidium. In essence, 
Access to this metal could determine which nations lead in the technologies of tomorrow and which are left behind. China's dominance may force the world to rethink alliances, industrial strategies, and technological priorities in a rapidly shifting landscape. With China now controlling the world's largest rubidium reserve, the future of technology and global power is at a crossroads. Will China choose collaboration, sharing access and technology to promote innovation worldwide? Or will it leverage its position to gain strategic advantage, controlling supply and influencing industries? Other nations face urgent decisions. Some may invest heavily to develop new rubidium sources, while others might focus on recycling and alternative technologies to reduce dependence. The outcome could shape trade policies, technological leadership, and even military capabilities for decades. Rubidium, once an obscure element, is now a strategic metal that could determine the pace of innovation. It's no longer just a scientific curiosity. It's a resource that influences national security, industrial power, and the future of advanced technologies. How countries respond in the next few years will define who leads and who falls behind in the technological race of the 21st century. China's discovery of the world's largest rubidium deposit is more than a geological headline. It's a technological, economic, and geopolitical milestone. From powering GPS satellites and medical imaging to enabling quantum computing and advanced military systems, rubidium is no longer obscure. It's a strategic asset that shapes the future of innovation. The key takeaway? Whoever controls rubidium today could control technology tomorrow. This one metal, hidden underground in Guangdong, has the potential to influence global power, industrial strategy, and the pace of technological progress for decades to come. If this story opened your eyes to the hidden forces shaping our world, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Here on Cash Cow, we dig deep into the breakthroughs, discoveries, and global shifts that most people never see coming. Stay curious, stay informed, and we'll see you in the next video where we uncover the next game-changing story quietly shaping our future.